welcome back to This or That. I think we're on episode number eight today, and we're going to be comparing uh, two items. We're going to start with this, which is peanut butter. Uh, now, we did a video on peanut butter quite some time back, so there is one, uh, uh, one nutrition video in the YouTube uh, channel. Just have to probably scroll down a little bit. And we're going to compare peanut butter today to something called PB2, which is powdered peanut butter. So let's start with... Um, regular peanut butter here. We've got 14 servings in this container of peanut butter and also in the PB2 we have 14 servings. Now let's take a look at the uh, nutrient profile here in peanut butter for one serving which is two tablespoons you have 190 calories. Well in PB2 the serving size is also two tablespoons but the difference is there's only 60 so 190 to 60. Let's take a look at the protein content for this uh, one serving of peanut butter here. It is 7 grams. And the PB2, it is 6. So, tiny little bit of difference, but basically the same. Uh, carbohydrate, peanut butter has 8, 2 of which come from fiber, 3 grams of sugar. And in the PB2, it has only 5 grams of carbohydrate with 1 gram of fiber and 2 grams of sugar. So, a tiny little bit less sugar. Now, what makes the major difference between the two is regular peanut butter has 15 grams of fat. So it's a very high fat product because peanuts have a lot of fat. But the PB2 takes the fat out. Okay, so it only has 1.5 grams of fat. So it's a huge difference. And that is why PB2 has such fewer calories. Now, a couple reasons why I kind of prefer the regular peanut butter, even though the PB2 is a little bit healthier for you. Uh, the PB2 is powdered, so you have to mix it with water or some type of, you know, like a milk or something to give it that peanut butter texture, whereas this you don't have to do, so it's more convenient. And secondly is the price. So I could probably get this. This is the Rayleigh's brand here. If they're having a sale on peanut butter at the store, I could probably get this for $2. So you're going to be paying anywhere from 2 to $4 typically for a jar of peanut butter, one, of the, one this size. PB2 is going to cost you quite a bit more. It's going to be kind of in the $7 range. So great product, a great healthy alternative, but it's going to be a little bit, a tiny bit more work and a little more uh, pricey. Okay. All right, guys, that is it for this or that today, and we will catch you next time.